All right, guys, listen up. I'm not going to ever do this again. This is the test that you're going to have on Friday. Maybe I'm feeling, you know, feeling nice because it's going to be Thanksgiving break. And I'm going to explain this whole test on video so you could watch it. So you could get an A on the test Friday before Thanksgiving break. Anyhow, yes, this is the test. It says up here test. Yes, it says version B. So I'm not going to give you version B. I'll give you a different version of the test. But if you understand this, you'll be able to do everything on the test. So here's part one where I ask you to use this quadratic equation to graph it and to state the vertex, graph it, state the domain and range, and what are the roots of the quadratic that you just graphed. Anyhow, let's start this out by finding the vertex. So the vertex, what is the vertex? It's the most important point of a parabola. And of course, we're going to use the formula x equals negative b over 2a. So, where do we get these b and a values? Well, the b value happens to be 2, and the a value happens to be 1 in this case. So let's put the b value of 2 right in here. Let's put the a value of 1 right down there. So I really have negative 2 over 2. Let me zoom in on this. I really have uh, negative 2 over 2, and that's my x value, which is negative 1. So that's my x value, and I'm talking about of my vertex. So that is the x value of my vertex. Let me put that negative 1 right in there as the x value of my vertex. Now, how do I find my y value once I already have my x value? You simply plug it in. So I'm going to take that negative 1, and I'm going to plug it in right into this x and this x. So I'm going to rewrite this whole equation, but instead of writing x's, I'm going to write parentheses. And of course, from here, we're simply going to plug in that negative 1 for x. Let me plug it in. And now let me work this out. If I go negative 1 squared, that's positive 1. If I go 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. And then bring down this plus 1 right next to it. So let's do this math. 1 take away 2 is negative 1. And negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So my y value of my vertex is 0. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the first answer of the test. Um, negative 1, 0, finding the vertex. Now, the vertex is the most important point, so let's go to the graph over here, and let's go to the coordinate, negative 1, 0, and put a dot right there. I want to do it in blue. Uh, negative 1, 0, that's a dot right there. That is my vertex. So if I wanted to draw my axis of symmetry to help me graph, I just do a dotted line right through that vertex x value of negative 1, or right through that coordinate of uh, negative 1, 0. Okay, so now I have my vertex. I already know that the a value is 1. It's positive 1, so I know it's opening up. So I could use a xy table, or I could use the pattern of 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9. Now let's say I did use an xy table. All right, so let me plug in uh, 0 for x. That's really easy to do. Plug in 0 for x, 0, 0. You're going to get a 1 as an answer, as an output, if you put in the 0 for x. So 0, 1 is uh, 0 on the x, 1 on the y. There it is. So there's 0, 1. Okay. And of course, using the axis of symmetry that you just drew, you could reflect it over to the other side, and that'll be your dot right there. Okay. So, so far, we have this little tiny parabola. So let's do one more point. So you already used 0, might as well plug in 1 and see what we get. Now you could try to do this in your head. I want to go for it. I want to go 1 squared. That's 1. 2 times 1 is 2. So we have 1 plus 2. That's 3 plus 1. That is 4. Maybe you need to show your work if you don't see it clearly. So the coordinate 1, 4 is a coordinate. Let me go to that coordinate on the graph. 1 on the x, 4 on the y, put a dot right there, you're good. And of course, you could map that point over to the other side using the axis of symmetry. It's two units away, so go two units away this way and put a dot right here. Now, that's one option, using the xy table. Another option is using the pattern 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9 from the vertex. Now, these are not coordinates, this is just the pattern. So we know that this blue dot right here is the vertex. So this first pattern goes 1, 1 from the vertex. That's how I get to this point. 
Then I could go back to the vertex and use the next one, two, four. One, two, and then up one, two, three, four, right? So you could actually graph the parabola without having to do the XY table if you know your pattern, one, one, two, four, three, nine. You don't even use the three, nine in this case. You just use the one, one, two, four from the vertex. So anyway, you don't have to use the pattern. You could use the XY table or you could use a pattern, whatever you feel best with. So you draw your parabola like this. It's also important to know that when you draw your parabola, don't curve it and make it look like it's going straight up because it never goes straight up. It continues to go out forever, right? It continues to go out forever. So never make it curve and make it look like it goes straight up, okay? Because that would be incorrect. Anyway, uh, you get how many points so far? Well, you got your vertex, that's one point. You graphed it, that's another point. And now it's time to talk about the domain and the range. The domain are your x values. So does this parabola go to the left forever? Yes, it does. Does it go to the right forever? Yes, it does. So for the domain, you need to put x equals all real numbers, okay? Some people just write all real numbers. I'm going to have to dock points. You have to put x equals all real numbers. Now for your range, you're talking about no longer the x values that go left and right, but you're talking about the y values that go up and down. So what kind of y values does this parabola have? It has all the y values that are up there. None of the y values are down here. So what's the lowest point? The minimum value is the y value of 0. That's the lowest point. This whole graph has to be at greater than or equal to 0, right? I mean, this parabola, the lowest point is there. And that's the y value of 0. So what could I say about the range? It has to be y is greater than or equal to 0. I hope this makes sense. Now, for the final uh, portion, let me erase this. For the final portion, or the final question regarding to the, this first section, it says, what are the roots? Now, we should all know that roots are the same thing as answers. They're the same thing as solutions. They are the same thing as the x-intercepts. So the question is, where does the parabola cross the x-axis? As you could see, it only touches it at one point, and that happens to be the vertex. So this is the x-intercept, which happens to be x equals negative 1. So if I ask you for the roots, I'm asking you for the solutions, I'm asking you for the x-intercepts. So we would say x equals uh, negative 1. That is your answer. Now keep in mind, sometimes you could have two answers, or sometimes you could have no solution. Uh, let me just, uh, this is it, this is it, we're done. This is the uh, correct answers for 1 through 4. I hope you guys understand it. But let me give you a couple of other situations. Like if I ask for the x-intercepts or the answers, and let's say I had a, a blue parabola that was down here, and it goes up, and then it comes back down, and I'm asking for the answers. I'm really asking for the x-intercepts. So where does it cross the x-axis? It doesn't cross. So on this guy, you would say no solution, right? Or maybe you have a parabola that crosses right here and here. Let's say here's your parabola going like this, right? And it crosses at this value of 2 and at that value of 3. If I ask you for this, I mean, not 3, 4. If I ask you for the solutions, then you would say, oh, the answer is uh, uh, 2 and 4 because it crosses here and here. The x-intercept is here and here, which means that the answers are 2 and 4. I hope this helps you out because you never know what kind of parabola you're going to have. It might just touch once. That's one answer. It might not touch at all. That's no solution. It might touch at, at two nice places. That would be two nice answers.